Hello and welcome students to the practical part of uh, website hacking or SQL injection. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can attack on a website using Kali Linux operating system. So we are going to perform a structured query language uh, to attack on the web applications and websites. So how we can attack on a website? Uh, let's talk about this. So first of all, the tool which we can use to attack on the website is SQL map. So uh, if you click on applications, right, and uh, if you click on database assessment, then you will find this tool, SQL map. The work of SQL map is to uh, attack on a website and gather the information from the database of the website, right? Or you can say gather information from the backend. That is the work of SQL map. So how we can attack on a website? Let me show you. So click on first of all SQL map. It is a command line tool, right? So first of all, let me show you what is SQL map. So you can type on terminal man space SQL map and hit enter. So it will show you the information about uh, the manual entry inside uh, the Kali Linux operating system. So SQL map is an automatic SQL injection tool, as you can see on the screen, right? And basically these are the synopsis and the options are available here. So if you want to attack on a website and uh, if you want to use SQL injection as a method, then SQL map is the best tool available in Kali Linux operating system, right? So how we can use it? Let me show you. So first of all, open your browser. Firefox and uh, first of all let's take a website for example we will actually work on the sample website we will not uh, attack on any live website so it will be illegal if you try on somebody else website right so just uh, you can try on your website otherwise you can try on sample website so the sample website i'm taking is vulnweb.com because this is a sample website provided by acunetics tool so this is vulnweb.com and uh, if you open this this is the link of the website open that and here you can see on the screen let me zoom it so that you can see on the screen there are four links available right as we are working on mysql right so i will choose the second one which is testphp.vulnweb.com so click on that and open this website so this is the website you can see on the screen right testphp.vulnweb.com and uh, we will try to find out information about this website we will try to find out information about the username and password so that we can put here and uh, get information uh, about their database etc right so how we can attack on this website first of all to attack via sql injection you need to find the link of the website that that is really important to start so how you can get the link just copy the url area here right open a new link open a new tab actually and here you can simply type here site colon paste the web url here space php question mark id equals to all right it will uh, help you to find the links available for the website hit enter and you can see here that uh, these kind of links uh, we need to attack on the website uh, test php dot web dot com slash artist dot php question mark artist equal to one so let's take this link copy that right and minimize everything now do one thing uh, just open your terminal of Kali Linux operating system. Let me zoom it for you. Yeah. So first of all, as we already know that uh, the outer shell of any web application backend is database. So we need to find a database first of all. Then later we will find out the table name, then column name and then the data, actual data which is inside the database. So uh, my aim is here first of all uh, to find out the name of the databases and number of the databases so that we can move further. So how we can get the database name here? Let me show you. So there are some uh, fixed commands available in SQL map tool that we can use. So what you can do? You can simply type SQL map space dash small u 
and paste here the link which you have copied from here and uh, you can minimize this all right test php dot one web dot com slash artist dot php question mark artist equal to one sql map dash u after that type the link of the website and space what you want to find i want to find a database so you can type dbs dbs means databases dash dash dbs to find the databases of this website and hit enter so you can see here that SQL map has started and uh, it is asking a question that it looks like the backend is MySQL. Do you want to skip test payloads specific for DBMSs? If yeah, so what you will type here, yes or no. It is saying that we have found the uh, database databases regarding MySQL. Do you want to skip? Yes, we want to skip because we have already found the database name. So you can type Y and hit enter. It is saying that for the remaining test, do you want to include all tests for MySQL? Yes, I want to test and type Y and hit enter. Now uh, it is it will test the web application or the web link which we have provided and then it will find out information about the databases in the backend. So you need to just wait, right? You can see here that it is trying, uh, it is attacking on MySQL, right, regarding parameter replace or procedure analysis, right, stack queries. And it is basically attacking on the artist. It is saying that parameter artist appears to be MySQL 5.0.12 and time based blind injectable. All right. So it is taking some time and you can see here that it is trying on 20 columns and trying to find the number of columns available in the application. So you need to wait and uh, it will find out a single parameter which will be vulnerable and we need to use that parameter to uh, attack on the website right and then we will be able to uh, find the basically first the username and password right and we will be able to change the database information right by using sql injection so you need to just wait so uh, now you can see on the screen that we got the two databases here and the first database is accurate and second database is information underscore schema. So basically information underscore schema is a kind of uh, default database, right? And uh, we will use accurate database, right? Uh, to find the number of tables. So you can see here that we got the number of uh, databases available here. Right. If it uh, just remember one thing, if you get stuck here, right, then please hit enter and it will start it again. All right. So now uh, we are going to use accurate database here to find out information, accurate database. And now we will try to find the number of tables inside accurate database. So how you can do that? You can simply type SQL map space dash u. You. you need to paste the link space. Now you need to specify the database name. So database name is Accuart. So you can type here dash capital D and the name of the database is Accuart space. What you need to find? We are finding the number of tables. So you can type here dash dash tables, right? And hit enter and you will get the tables inside Accuart database. Hit enter. And you can see that it is retrieving the table names. So here you can see that uh, data inside database acquired there are eight tables and inside eight tables these are the name of the tables artist cards category users products etc right so inside a single database there are eight tables it, it's it looks like uh, for example uh, there is a square right and uh, you are trying to divide that in eight parts so that they are the tables in which we need to find out information about the username and passwords. So I think if I guess, then I think this will be the right table name where I can get information about uh, the usernames, passwords, etc. So the, I will take the users table name and I will find out the number of columns from this table name. So how we can find the number of columns? To find the number of columns, you can uh, simply type SQL map space dash u and paste here the link space dash capital D you need to type the database name so database name is accurate that we already found now we need to specify the table name so that 
test capital T table name is I'm taking users so you can type here users space and now we are trying to find the column name so we can type column dash dash columns all right so it will provide you the number of columns and the name of the columns from users table right hit enter So you can see here that uh, inside database accurate there is a table name users inside table name users there are eight columns available right and uh, we have found out eight columns in which you can see there are email ids and password is also available you name is also available phone number address etc right now next task is to find out information about uh, first of all you name you name is i think username and pass is i think password i'm just guessing right so uh, let's find out information about the u name first of all so to get username information you can type sql map dash u paste here the link space dash capital d and you need to specify the name of the database which is acquired dash capital t you need to specify the table name so i think the table name was users right inside users table name We are trying to find the column so the column name is u name you can type dash capital c and u name right space dash dash dump so finally you need to type dash dash dump to uh, extract the information about username from these tables right hit enter so there is only one column i think it is showing just one here and it is showing us the username test i think yeah so you can see here that is that it has provided us the username information username is test similarly we can find information about the password so you can type here uh, just click here and uh, click on your upper arrow of your keyboard right and just replace this u name with paws because uh, there is another column available there and the name of the column is PAWS. So we are going to find out information about password as well and hit enter. Now it is retrieving the password from the database, right? And uh, I think you can see on the screen that the password is also test. So username is test as well as password is test. You can also get information about other uh, information like email IDs, etc. For example, if you take email, so what you can do click here click on up arrow to get the command again and you can type email here to get information about email so extracting email ids whatever inside that slowly slowly it is taking one character at a time you can see here that it is extracting the email id whatever basically it, it is a sample website right so that's why all the information available inside the database is also sample so you can see here on the screen that it is trying to extract the email ids and here it is so this is a kind of email id available inside the database great so we got the username right this is the password test and uh, this is the username test available so what we can do here just to minimize this open the website and uh, in that website you can see on the left hand side there is a button sign up button here so click on that and on that sign up button you can see there is a username and password can you see here yeah this is the username and password panel right so we got the username the username is test and the password is also test you can click on login and you can see here that you are able to get information about the database here right you can see the name you can see if there is any credit card number if there is an email id if there is any phone number address you can also uh, update the information from this database so to update the database you can simply remove the name let me type my name right and let me click uh, on update please don't put your original information here original information like don't put your phone numbers or email id address credit card number right so because this is visible to all of all the type all kind of hackers so click on update 
right it has been updated let me log out let me log in again let me click on sign up and uh, if i type here test and test and if i click on login then you can see here that my name has been updated in that database basically i have updated their database and i have put my entries inside it what my point so you can basically update their database database easily it's quite easy so you can you have you have seen in the sql map that uh, these are the really easy uh, commands which you can use uh, for website pen testing or to attack on a website using sql injection right and you can also move to this directory to get information about uh, the you can see that info table accurate users dump to csv file slash root slash sql map slash output etc etc you can see here that this is dot sql map that dot sql sql map means it is a hidden file so let me check where it is uh, let me click on places click on home right and uh, where is dot sql map dot sql map output test web dot com and inside that you can see dump accurate users dot csv so dump accurate users dot csv you can see here that this is the information has been stored inside the this file so all the information has been saved right and uh, you can you can get information here the logs are also available that what you have done it will help you to uh, create a report right for the client and uh, this is target.txt you can see here information about the command so these uh, information can help you to create a final report for your client right so uh, this is all about uh, sql map right and uh, don't try this uh, method on somebody's website right you can try this method on your on your own website or uh, uh, on a sample website like this right so uh, thank you so much and uh, try this again right and we will come back in the next video uh, with more interesting videos thank you so much